What's up, junkies? Down in Louisiana this week with uh, Randy Dingler. We brought uh, Brian Roberts with us this year just to show him how much fun this is. Randy's running some dogs for us again, and uh, we're after hogs. What's up, junkies? Down in Louisiana this week, Celine, Louisiana, with uh, Randy Dingler and uh, his family we're staying with. Randy's running some dogs for us again, and uh, we're after hogs. We brought uh, Brian Roberts with us this year just to show him how much fun this is. Why don't you get to you, Marley? There you go. <laughs> My redneck straps right here. <laughs> <laughs> so look, if we're gonna do everything the easy way today, why don't we just stay here and drink beer? <laughs> Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> we'll be on uh, Black Lake today on a friend of mine's property. A lot of hogs up there. They've been having a lot of issues with them, tearing up deer feeders. I'm gonna go up there and see if we can help them out. Catch some of these hogs. We're gonna bring a pretty good pack of dogs today. Gonna run them if they want to run, catch them if they want to catch, dispatch them by night. All right, this is my first time down here in Louisiana. Brian and Jeremy have been down here two times before. Um, my kid was always wrestling and it was always this time of year when you're doing regionals and state. This year I had an opportunity, they invited me to come and quite the experience down here. Day one, we were on a 2,500 acre lease. Uh, we run through some stuff with four wheelers that a guy probably shouldn't do, but we did it anyway. Right. Bubba's going behind. Boy, we did some off road getting in here. <laughs> yeah. We would have went in the wrong spot. We would have dunked that four wheeler right under. I mean, uh, this is pretty badass back here. It's cool. It's nice property. Yeah. There they all go back to the trucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a good bit of rooting in here in the leaves and stuff. Oh, okay. So that's what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. It's 713. I'll zoom in a little bit. They went ahead and turned back a little bit. Okay. Headed to the beaver pond. Yeah, they want to go swimming. <laughs> Y'all go to swim. Well, follow the leader. <laughs> Don't you got a defroster on that thing? No. <laughs> You're looking at it. <laughs> so day one, um, did a lot of four wheeler riding, um, a lot of getting around new territory. And the dogs are on hogs right away. But did they run them and run them and run them? I mean, there must have been, they call them little bullets that were going out all over. We just could not bay them up. We were on pigs, but with that much land and, and the thickets and the thorns and the woods, um, we never, the dogs never did really catch up with one. So that property, we left there, went to another property, uh, another lease that they had. All right, junkies, it's the second half of the afternoon. A new location. So far, we haven't had much luck, but it's still having a great time. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, these dogs get on them. And start sticking. Let's kill some piggies. <laughs> uh, it was um, a lot of hog running. Could we make the hog stop? No. Never ended up hooking up with a hog on day one. But with them dogs, they were so wore out by the end of the day, they must have run 30 miles but the four-wheeling and the experience in that alone was fantastic. Day one was fun. We'd come out with no hogs, but I mean, that's hunting. So day two, always leave at dark, get up, get ready to go. We went to a property not too far, 
Randy drove around, looked for sign pigs. We never even let dogs out there. He ended up getting a call from a lease that he has or a property that he can hunt quite a ways away. Uh, so he's like, let's load up, go down there. They had pigs in a trap, which we were gonna take a peek at. We ended up going and checking on a trap on the other part of this property. It was a hog trap. And uh, I've never seen one um, before because um, we can't do that kind of stuff back home. So we went over there and there was uh, three sows and uh, like five, six, seven little ones in this trap. And it's pretty neat how it's set up. So you can see actually live view on your camera, your trail cam, and you can tell you know, if you want to drop it or whatever, what hogs are in it. I mean, it's, it's a really neat uh, thing to set up and it's, and it's an efficient way to help with this problem with the hogs around here because no matter what you do, it's so thick, you would never be able to, to kill all the hogs. Well, that'll be fun Good to take times. out of your truck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Or it gets a little tricky. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh. Yeah. There you have it. That's money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was just all around a great experience to see the, the, the cage and the, how they trap them. It's just, it's neat. We go to that property last year that we killed the 12 hogs on that one day. Um, but there's other people hunting adjoining to this property. So we hunted up front more towards off to the side, a newer area to give them guys room. Um, so I ended up going with a group with Mike and uh, John and uh, Braden and Hannah. So we went down there, we got set up. He's like, why don't we just run this little ditch line? Me and Brian sat on this um, creek edge and Randy and Tanner were going in the woods to try to run these pigs out. Just a little thicket. Too bad. No, we'll send you in first then. <laughs> and uh, he went in with the, the two loudest dogs he has um, to see if he can make the hogs run out. But it's almost like deer hunting in Wisconsin, what do they do? out the back door, man. Yeah, they're going backwards, aren't they? Just like Jeremy said, in Wisconsin, deer hunting every time, they always run out the back. Oh, look at them. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, get over here, get over here. That was a lot. They're all big. Talk about a mad scramble trying to get back in the truck, drive all the way around the block and get back and get ahead of them. It, it was so fun because they run a bunch, this is what these guys are telling me. We didn't see any in my group, but they run a big group out the back. And uh, so there we went chasing after them. So we get around the block. The dogs are already bait up. We unload the four wheelers as fast as we can, fly across this field, find the dogs and get up to the pig. And I finally got my hands on, on a Louisiana pig, which there's no other feeling like it. it's crazy hunting down here. <laughs> First one. <laughs> <laughs> This is the craziest thing I've ever done, ever. <laughs> Not lying. Take one, take one, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty badass. He was smiling from you know ear to ear. You could tell he was just jacked. And that's what it's all about. It's so much fun. I ended up getting that hog. We tried to catch up with the other group, but 4,000 acres and then pigs run. We tried, we went all over the place looking for him. And 4,000 acres, that's almost finding a needle in a haystack trying to find them other hogs. Trying to catch 40 hogs or catch up to them in 4,000 acres, we went and looked everywhere. We could not find them again. I mean, they just, they disappeared. Day two, we only ended up getting that one hog, but what a great day. I mean, it was so fun trying to hunt these things. There's never a dull moment, I'll give you that. So day three, the event today, uh, it's gonna be pretty exciting. They're gonna be showing up here anytime, and I can't wait for this event that's coming up. So it's almost three o'clock on the day of the event for Dylan Dingler's eighth annual event. Behind me, across the road, is the actual park. The money that's being raised for this event goes towards the park. Like last year, it's for the lighting. Three o'clock's the deadline to get your pigs or get registered in here. You have to be checked in by three with all your hogs, and uh, we'll go back and we're gonna start weighing them. Biggest 
bore, the biggest sow, the biggest string line, which means the amount of the actual hogs. Um, so I'll be kind of curious and see who actually has how many. I know there's one team already in the 20s, which is crazy. So we're gonna go down there here in a little bit for the weigh-ins and see how big the biggest hog is. Because I bet he's gonna be in the threes minimum. We really appreciate all the sponsors. It's a big deal. Um, it's what makes this event happen, the sponsors and all of you hunters. Um, so give yourselves a round of applause. And again, thank you very much. On top of all of the sponsors that have been listed off already, the past year, again, has been tough for this family. Um, and they lost two very important people in their lives. Amanda's dad, Billy, uh, passed away. And so did Randy's father, John. In their honor, uh, Sandra has pledged to donate the next piece of park equipment uh, in Billy's name and a flagpole uh, with a flag and light and everything uh, in John's name. So thank you very much. There's no way this could happen if it wasn't for friends and family and support. And that park is over there, the, the memory of Dylan Dingler and all of the other kids in this country that would love to come over there and fly. So thank y'all so much for making this possible every year. Still got a lot going on as far as the park. We got all the lights hooked up in the park. We added lights back here, you get to see. Thank y'all very much. Y'all, uh, thank y'all, y'all hog hunters keeping it honest, catching hogs like we're supposed to by the rules. Thank y'all. Can I get one person from each team, like a team captain, to come up here? Uh, we're just going to double check all the teams, make sure that we have everybody checked in cor correctly. What you serving up today? Try one of them, please. Okay. All right, here you go. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here with m, &M Outdoors. Um, I'm gonna buy a couple collars, and he can customize them. Put the dog's name, phone number, our name, so the dog ever gets lost, we'll know where to find it. So. All right, all I need you to do is uh, write down what you want in your tag right here. See, in case I got lost tonight, Gary made me my tag and I put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a good chance of that. <laughs> Dog's name is uh, Ruby. 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 Got a Ruby. Brian Roberts. Yes. Wow. Sherman. S H E R M A N. Yep. I'm sure about that. I don't know. We'll yeah, find call out. the wife. She'll and find that. out. When get to her. Who's your main? <laughs> You've been down there in Louisiana and come back with a shaman. Right. <laughs> All right, we got the bottom piece of the rivet in. Put the tag on. Put the caps on here. Set the rivet. Yeah, we Then you come over here to the device and tighten it up just for extra security. Basically, all you're doing is hammering it together. That's a finished one. Nice and flat. Set it. I'll tighten them up on the handle. A lot of folks don't do the tightening it on up, but I like to go ahead and tighten it up. Makes them flatter and also reduces the risk of them coming off. Perfect. That's done. I appreciate it. If you uh, need anything else, just let me know. I'm in there, my old doors. Alright, you got 200 there. Come on, we know we got 200. Make sure you get 325. She got 340. I'm going. Oh. Come on now, give me three. 
Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by Cunis Country, Bait Box on the Rock, Hunting Gear, Hangsters Motorsports, Bear Sets, Custom Jigs and Spins, Bee Fish and Tackle, and these fine sponsors. This has been a Stone Lake production. Doesn't this look good? Here we're with uh, Rakins today, LLC. Um, at the event, they're making the, what is this? This crawfish. And we have also have boiled shrimp. We have potatoes, corn, and sausage. Oh, yummy. All cooked in the crawfish bowl. It's gonna be right on time. So then you just mix it all up then? Or? Yeah, well like when I sell a plate of it, I'll put the crawfish or bull shrimp, whichever one you want, or both, and corn and potatoes and sausage on there. Okay. Oh, yeah. It'll be a whole meal. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a tough one tonight. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah. It smells so good. You take this crawfish. You may do it. You repeat that up, and out comes your meat. And then you pants the tail. Take the dog right the road with you. Good stuff. So if someone wants you to come to your event, how did they get a hold of you? It will be, um, you can give me a call at 318-584-1374. All right. Give me a shout and we'll show up. Hey, thank y'all, y'all, for putting in all the hard work, catching the hogs, a lot of good hogs caught, a lot of numbers caught. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming out each year. We got the first place team is Hardcore Hog Dogs. They got 1,196 pounds. Also hardcore, got longest string. Second place team is Outlaw. That's team number four. That's 1,103 pounds. Y'all come on up. Get a G Ray. Third place team is Cajun Camp. That's right. Oh yeah. All right, y'all got the biggest four buckles. Okay, and the third place buckles. I've got a million emails that I haven't read. Got a break that's weekend that I gotta check. Hey, give me five. You did good. Good job. Thank you.
goes over his head. He drops in. Grab his legs. Pull his legs. seconds to put my own shirt on in the morning. I can't even put my underwear on unless I can have it on. <laughs> totally new experience meeting new people down here. They're very polite, very nice people. Mill Creek Kennels, Randy and his wife, Amanda, amazing people. Accommodations are great. We wanted to say thank you from all three of us. For sure. Uh, yeah. for having us down here and taking care of us and uh, showing us a really good time, a um, really good time. Well worth the time to come down and uh, I would definitely do it again. Yeah, we'll be down next year again. Yeah. Louisiana hospitality is by far the best. And the food, super yummy. Unbelievable. Still getting used to it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by Bear Sense. For more information, go to bearsense.com.